How's it going guys? Welcome back to Lockhart Indigo. Sorry about the delay, there's just some big things going on on the channel lately. Huge series that got wrapped up, very popular, that's very exciting. Now we're coming back to this because I was too curious, I could not let this fade into obscurity. Presumably there's a lot of new people to the channel who are unfamiliar. I'll make sure in the, like the card in the corner there we'll have a link to the playlist for the full series so people can get caught up. I personally need to remember just a little bit kind of what we were working towards or specifically who we're needing to talk to next. We know that Lloyd lied. Yvonne was the one who found the body. The cause of death was a robot. Lloyd inherits Yvonne's shares in the will and in Evan's will it is a fully confidential file. Down the stairs straight forward are you still just snoozing away, drunk as a skunk? They're past. Huh? Should have. Hmm? When he had the chance. Who? Done what? What chance? Should have killed you when they had the chance is the most likely. I should still be probably trying to go see Ivan. I should make myself to that part of the house because he's like the one guy I don't think I've spoken to yet. I guess. There's also Nasha, who's like passed out, but I, I don't think I could talk to her right now anyways. Would you mind giving us some privacy? Oh, pardon me. How did you get here? You just raced on ahead? Your investigation is progressing. Y yes, I'm currently... I'm glad to hear that, Beatrice. I'm looking into my husband's will? Yes, I've heard. What's going on? What are we here to talk about, Aya? Trust, Beatrice. Trust is a fragile thing. She's goading me. I don't know what's gotten into her. Does she know about... Still, I can't play her games. I need to get under her skin and get her to open up. Well, I probably don't need... Maybe I do need a new read on her. No, she's too on edge. Think, Beatrice. Aya is the distrustful type. Playing tough, but deep down, she's scared. I've got to get her to open up. Have her voice her insecurities. Then when she's vulnerable, put her back in her place. Your point of view. What should I focus on? The mistrust. You feel you can't trust me anymore. I can't trust anyone. Perhaps... Empower? Are you unhappy with my investigation? Then, tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know what you did. No, truly, not really. Relieve their guilt, build their confidence? You're usually so composed. Ha! <laughs> my ire isn't unwarranted, Beatrice. I guess I could try and go a bit more in their point of view. The, the paranoia? With all these eyes on you, you must feel paranoid. Do not make the mistake of putting words in my mouth, Beatrice. Uh, the money... If this has to do with my pay, this has nothing to do with your pay. I... Uh, well, I've already gone down that. I don't think it counts as a knock against me to do it twice. Well, time to start tearing them down, I guess. We only... I thought we were going to build them up, like, twice, maybe. Uh, trust. Your trust sure is fragile. With reason, it seems. Oh, dang. How about pay? You bargained a low price for me. I don't know what you're pissed about. I guess you get what you pay for. Ooh. Take charge. Yeah. Ignorance. Independence. Original plan. My job is to make our suspects talk. I've been delivering. Christ it. That went well. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> I don't know what your plan is. You've earned the benefit of the doubt. You have my trust for a little longer. Do not abuse it. And away she goes. There's still a chance that I could have gotten through to the robot. That's probably worth another confrontation. Ah, oh, they're just so clearly evil. <laughs> Locking the doors behind us, being kind of t taunting. Oh, 
wee bit menacing, but mostly it's that, like, cockiness. This robot knows how to get under your skin. Which is ironic for something that doesn't have real skin. Oh, my nerve is just cr crawling up like, like crazy here. Uh, Evan's will? I don't really know why it has a little speech thing next to it. I've already got Evan's testament. What's your point? Hmm, so that leads nowhere, does it? No bullying, humanizing her is the way I'm supposed to go, I think. Hurt their ego. You're in the way. Now that's not very nice, Beatrice. Question their morals, hold them responsible. I should focus on their ability to assist. You're a robot. Shouldn't you be assisting me? I... Oh, yeah, now I'm, now I'm getting to them. Take charge, bring order. Yeah, they're subservient. I should be able to play into that. You work for the Volokovs. So do I. And they want to find the killer. Uh, of course. <laughs> We're cracking. My point of view is to press them the locked door. That's not very helpful. You're not working with me here the way you're programmed to. The door is locked. Do you expect me to just wait here? Of course. Ah. They're taking charge then. I guess that's not the right the right angle. I could bring up the murder, but they'd probably just be like, mm, I, I know, it's a sad. I'm trying to solve a murder. I'm afraid I must play my role. That of a gatekeeper. Uh, well, my only other option here is to press them. I already have Evan's will. A very confidential file. I doubt these archives have anything more private. <laughs> well, great. Thank you. Oh, cracked him down. In that case, with the right words, the right intonations, iron works give way, and the heart spills its secrets. That's the same every time. It's just kind of cool. Go right on ahead. We'll be right behind you, Madam Summers. We'll? Yeah. It gives a, it gives a, a small venom vibe. I know that's not what they're going for, but it's what it makes me think of. Is there like layered, many subconsciouses, many robots all inhabiting one body, many AIs? Or is it like because this AI is based on a real person? I think something like that is maybe more interesting. Uh, nothing interesting, I don't have time, and same once again. It reads Mr. Carroll on the cover. I'll read through it when I can. The client has been updated in our evidence. What was that? Oh, God. Okay. Those guys look a little hardcore. I don't want to get caught by them or anything. I feel like I should be running away. That seems bad. Oh, God. More of them are coming. I honestly don't know what would happen if they caught me, but it's seeming like not something I want to get caught up in. The client. A Mr. Carroll's listed. So that was a part of Evan's will? Because that kind of overwrote Evan's will there. Oh, God. <laughs> they just keep coming. Garden door is locked. We'll bust that open then. Oh, am I being too slow? Ugh. I don't know if I should be fast traveling. Maybe I just try to talk to one. No, they totally are like trying to get me. Oh god. I might be extremely limited in where I can actually go. Oh, uh, it totally chased me somewhere specific. Why did you make the deal with Yvonne? I didn't necessarily. It sounded appealing, but like I'm still here, right? I didn't leave. Aya, what are you doing? Oh, one of them just got taken out. Oh, she's helping me. She's shooting them down. Hell yeah. You didn't answer my question. What? Why did you make the deal with Yvonne? I thought you would kill them. In the end, I just want my paycheck. I see. We can continue this discussion later. What's going on? The robots in the mansion. They're out of control. We need to leave. No. The killer. If they cause this, it means they're scared. I must be getting close. What were you last looking into? A name mentioned in Evan's will. Mr. Carroll. Does that name mean anything to you? I swear he was in one of the posters in like the big dining hall. Portraits, probably. More accurately, no. 
No, but I might know someone who can help. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Mel Toodaloo, good talking to you. The bird's crest was added to your keys, which I think matches the room that I would have just ran out of. They, these things are still patrolling. Okay, they, they haven't been called off or anything. Perhaps we should have a gun to help ourselves shoot them away. Find a way through this door. You'll find a man named Jacob. He designed these machines. If anyone knows anything, it's him. This strange painting is blocking the way. Well, the crest seems like it would apply. Oh yeah, it fits in there. Creates, that's cool, it's in the shape of a bird and when you slot it in, it creates a completed cage. That's really neat. And obviously it wasn't the shape of a, a key, so that wasn't gonna work. Presumably I'll chat with this boy and then I'll have the next key I need. I was just curious where I've suddenly branched off to. Like, it's kind of impressive that there just continues to be more new new parts of this. He also has some like mechanical birds. He just has flitting about. Can I just b barricade you? Oh, that sounds fun actually. Blocking you fully in there. Okay, they're still they still, still get at me a little bit. <laughs> Hmm, I don't think it can be done from this side. It would be really fun to box you in fully. And bringing this other box over to there does not seem like it would be helpful. It's a possibility. Perhaps, perhaps it would be needed. Just, just get out of my way. You're making this extra hard on me. And I would like you to, like, you know, come chase me up here for a second so I can push, push this box. Oh, you're a real pain, aren't you? I guess this is another option. <laughs> I just lead them away, and then uh, I shouldn't have to push any box. I can just run straight past. That's much simpler overall. Persuade. Your hit points have increased. Oh, that's all I can do here. Documents on development of artificial intelligence. Third generation bots. Our vision for the future envisions machines with social awareness and an ability to blend in within a crowd. We've tested this concept via a robotic pigeon. It has been accepted and integrated by the other birds. <laughs> it's day 75. They still haven't identified me as a robotic pigeon. The file is signed J. Spielman. Jacob. And I'm guessing that robotic pigeon or bird in the other room is either that very pigeon or like a prototype. Documents on development, product expansion. After successfully creating a social pigeon bot, we must move on to the next stage of development, a simplified product. We've set our sights on a ripe market, adults who can't conceive or adopt. Thus, our first model line will be child bots. I mean, but then your robot's never gonna grow up. You're never gonna have your child age and develop and learn and develop their own personality and stuff, right? They'll be in like a stasis. I feel like no parent would really want that. As much as parents say like, oh, I hope you never grow older. Like, no one would really want that. And that seems like a huge step up in complexity from a pigeon that hops around to a child. <laughs> I don't really see the, the connection there. They seem leaps and bounds different. Do I need to take this box with me into the other room? I'm gonna quickly see if it actually lets me push it along. Nope, all I've done is block my <laughs> my own path. So, what am I missing here? I'm similarly blocked there. So I don't think leading this robot along with me would be of any help. Oh man. Okay, I managed managed to like box that in a little more closely. But now I'm now I'm seeing no benefit to that. Oh. Nope, that's not that maybe, maybe. Nope, still just totally stuck again. What am I missing? This is a tricky one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let oh. I fully want to, like, let that robot free may have some point to it, that I can actually allow that robot the ability to leave. 
But instead, that might be more along the lines of, like, the hindrance. That that's just gonna be in my way now and cause issues. Although when it touches me, it kind of rockets backwards a little bit. And I don't necessarily see what good that does. I'm gonna try and like belly- oh shit, you can die. You can die by just doing that. I was gonna try and like belly bump it to the other side essentially. <laughs> like if that didn't quite make sense what I mean by that, I gotta get to the other side of it and then touch it, it'll go backwards. Belly bump? No. No, you, I can't like slip it past. I had no idea where I was going with that. It just seemed like something that was maybe worth trying. Now that I've looped all that around, I, like, taking that box is just gonna make that barricade more intense. Oh, there's totally another bird crest area, just, uh, just like south of where I had met with Aya earlier. More, more robo pigeons. Oh my god. That's it? All the, there was no solution to the box puzzle? The pastel key. Hmm, but now I'm ever so slightly stuck. Nah, yes? Yes. I'm kinda stuck. Hmm. I don't think I can be fast enough to get past that. Well, it was so forward and then somehow also not. So straightforward. Did I just say forward? I kept the pastel key. <laughs> I guess you hang on to an item even when you, like, faint? So, that's weird. It truly seems like there's no way around that, or if there is, I just kind of cheated the system. Find a way through the story, you'll find a man named Jacob. Yeah, we've been over that. <laughs> I don't know if there was another way to get that key or not. It seems kind of silly, like a forced failure. Jacob! Yellow mustard boy! I like your style. You're the tech guy, right? You can stop these machines? Uh, it's not so simple. <laughs> the robots are being hijacked by some sort of radio signal. How do you know this? When we designed the bots, we integrated a radio override. This was meant to rally them. Our killer is using it to get rid of me. All right. Where's this signal coming from? Hard to say. Uh, it could be anywhere in the mansion. Then I'll comb the whole place. Read. Get a read on him. I mean, he's very nervous, obviously. Tell me about your work. What do you want to know? What do you do? That's kind of the broadly what that question means. <laughs> I... <laughs> well, I'll get on with it. I, I, I maintain the, the software. The logic of... I ensure they're all well-functioning. The robots, I mean. I see. This kid's got a hard time talking. Is he nervous? Is he scared? I'll judge. When push comes to shove, he'd be the type to shut off and hide inside himself. This guy is sheepish. He needs to feel safe, or else he clams up. Well, here's some facts for you, maybe. <laughs> Mr. Carol. Yeah, we do want to ask Jacob about Carol. You've unlocked a testimonial. What can you tell me about Mr. Care? Well, where did you hear that name? Tell me what you know. N nothing. Right. <laughs> it's not, you clearly don't know nothing, dude. You're immediately like, oh, how do you know that? Persuade skills are now available. Oh yeah, I picked that up, hadn't I? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. All right. Well, I've really limited myself now. I kind of wish that you couldn't select read twice, but maybe some people would want to double check things. I was trying to find out where the heck Persuade is. Uh, I don't want to hurt his ego, I don't want to chase him off, I want more heart. The heart's going to be more where this guy wants. Uh, I, their point of view, try to, try to empathize with this guy a bit. Uh, his sheepishness. I don't know, is directly addressing it? Like, will that just make him uncomfortable? I kind of think it would. Jacob, are you the type to get pushed around? W what do you mean? Is your boss pressuring you to do things you don't want to? Oh, 
Okay, that was the first step. That was the first step. I could try and pardon him for that. Relax. You haven't done anything bad. <laughs> right. Oh. Dang, really? Maybe that just put... He, he saw through that. It started to put, put some of the pressure on. Now, all of a sudden, the spotlight's on this guy. What should I focus on? Uh, he's smart. Give him credit. Give him credit for this stuff. Congratulations on your invention. Uh, I didn't invent anything. The robots were designed by... Never mind. Well, instead, I should just say you're smart. You're doing good work. Maybe he would be too embarrassed to admit that, you know? He doesn't want to... It doesn't have a brag braggadocious bone in his body. It takes a smart guy to build all these machines. Thank you, but I don't work alone. Still got to him a little bit. I could try and empower him a little bit. Try and let him lead things. Give him a, a bolster. Make him more ramish than sheepish. <laughs> what do you want, tech boy? Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't really seem like it was going anywhere. My point of view? Spit it, tech boy. I didn't want to go that aggressively. Spit what? <laughs> yeah, that was too intense. I don't want to hurt his ego. His ego seems already crushed. I could, I could potentially still do another empowering step. Uh, I, I could try and... Oh, dang it, that was the wrong one. Whoops. I had it in my mind that maybe pardon was the right... I had it in mind that I should have, I had one more flatter ego. Relax. You seem pretty calm about this mayhem. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm, I'm not. Ah, damn it. Uh, j just leave already. The machines. They'll catch us any minute now. Well, that's pretty telling. That's more telling than anything else we just talked about, dude. Seems like you just collapsed in all, on yourself all of a damn sudden there. I could go their point of view. You seem scared. I know you're scared. And you're not? Well, it's not like a scared all the time sort of thing. You're the mastermind behind these creations, right? No, I, I'm just an employee. Uh, he really doesn't want credit. Anything like that really doesn't get you anywhere. Well, I could hold him responsible, but it seems like he really wouldn't like that. The robots stop this agency. I gotta give him his agency. Jacob, if you're in hot water, you're the only person who can get you out. Yeah, okay, that was totally the right angle to go there. I don't want to attack his character. Controlling the conversation really didn't seem like it would go well. Take charge. I should focus on protection, not suspiciousness. Jacob, I can help you. We can protect you. P protect me? <laughs> ah, yeah, I feel like I, it's it's still tough now and again. Now, obviously, I'm making some wrong decisions here and there. But I, I'm starting to understand the inner workings of, like, how you're supposed to target characters, specific personalities, and like lean into that. It's not a perfect science, but I really like seeing it come together. Listen, uh, I can't say anything, but I can show you. Oh yeah, help us out, buddy. Look at all these secrets we got. We've un un collecting them all, it feels like. Take this. Go to the basement, the last door, the end of the corridor. What? I, I do want to check one thing, one key type. No, there's like the mysterious key or whatever it is that goes along with the purple door that we don't have. I'm heading down. Be careful. The mansion is crawling with bots. I'll slip through. Don't you worry about old Beatrice. Somehow. Oh. Oh, creepy, a little doll that looks like the robot? That's a little strange. So the robot presumably was modeled after that? Yes, is what I would be assuming here. Oh, a collection of stories about knights and dragons. I blocked myself from seeing the other one, the creepy key. Oh, I think that's the mysterious, oh god. Well, yep, the creep factor is uh, kicking in. It's becoming very real. The doll might be what I keep hearing laughing as well. Books about princesses and fairies. Yay, it all sounds so nice. Go to the basement, the last door at the end of the corridor. Okay. I'm not anywhere near the basement. <laughs> I gotta go way down. There's still, a, a, like, rooms on pretty well every floor that I haven't been to. Oh, come right on, you. 
You're gonna block me like that? The creepy door is locked. Well, I got just what it needs. Painter, yeah, I've been looking for you. I figured I, I figured you must have ended up in like an unexplored room. Jubilant, sensuous, a lover of pleasures. No, prudent, Abstim abstemious. I enjoyed little. So like someone who is abstinent in things, in a multitude of things. Are you gonna be okay? Do not interrupt me in my poetry, please. Well, I'll try and finish a poem now and again. You just seem like you bolt every time. The nursing centers. Now I'm back somewhere where I have been. So we just rush on down to the bottom. I'll do a, f a fast travel for that. Oh god, okay, too many, too many bots. Yep, not gonna happen. They're not gonna let me through there whatsoever. Nah. I gotta plan a little bit better, I think, of how I'm actually gonna make it downstairs. Just, uh, just sneak my way, just uh, right past, rush, no, no time wasted. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, while I'm in the menu, they're still coming at me. All right, rush. Straight to the side here. Might I be a hardy man with conviction? Maybe then I would have had her confession. Oh, you don't want to be like that guy. Hey, watch it. My brother is a respectable man. Your brother? Really now? So who does that make him? I mean, this is Yvonne? Am I in the wrong room? <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I would have to consult all the portraits and everything again. Oh, damn. Oh, no, these do go downstairs. Great. Great. I was worried that I was accidentally <laughs> working my way back up top again. The, the far corridor? Where exactly were you sending me? Painter isn't the ghost of, like, Evan, right? The dead, the dead character? Hmm. I cannot go that way at all. Can't inspect that body, which I'm not 100% was there before. What a mess. Is the only other instance, instance of the creepy door... Oh no, I'm stuck in, like, a loop here. Because this thing just bumps me. Well, that's not good. It bumps me, and then my character automatically starts walking the other direction because they get, like, forced and Well, I, I guess I just have to take the damage then and, and get... Please don't tell me you're healing every time you, you change rooms or anything like that. I kind of need you to get fainted here. It bumps me backwards far enough that it initiates the sequence of walking into the other... Crap. That's such a particular interaction to get bugged out. Oh, no. Yeah, I had had it in my mind to go run and stop at a telephone, but there was kind of robots everywhere getting in my way. Oh, fast travel is totally disabled right now anyways. I, I'm, I'm caught back up to where I was. I, I couldn't have gone the way I was hoping to, or like gone looking for, for different specific branches that maybe we're open now that I have the pastel key and the creepy key. I'm stuck on a, a pretty linear path right now with the robots cutting me off everywhere. Oh god, the nursing center is... Everyone's been getting killed! Okay, so that one thing at the bottom that I found that was like one dead character. Oh no, okay, this is good. I was allowed to go through there. Uh, but when I went to the very bottom, and on the far side there, I found like a dead body, and I was like, I don't think that was there before. But who knows what's going on in this wild mansion. Uh, yeah, that was totally... <laughs> These robots are not just circling in on me. They're kind of killing everyone right now. So it's uh, pretty, pretty dangerous at the moment. And I really only have the few options. Did I not... Like, has that suddenly opened? Because I, I went into his office and there's like a, that, like an extra hit points thing just sitting there. I don't know if I somehow missed coming for that before. I Yeah, I, I have no, no idea how I didn't grab that. But anyways, good to have it. Now I think I have eight full health, which is like 
that provides you so much opportunity in this game to to experiment with trial and error. Like Jacob went pretty smoothly because I got a ton of things wrong, but I could keep kind of cycling choices. Well, I gotta sprint past if I want to try and get a save in down here. And get me out of there. Door at the end of the corridor. Which corridor? Wow, okay, he's getting mangled too. These, uh, these robots ain't too nice. Beatrice! Ah, yeah, so he just needed me to go down to this main room here. Hey, Jacob, buddy old pal, how you doing? Good to see you're not dead. Before we continue. I need you to get something. Find us the master key. You'll find it in the room ahead. <laughs> it doesn't even need the pastel. It needed the crest key. Beatrice, wait up. Are you planning to come along? Oh, I can't. I can't go to that one first. They need me to to move, uh, mess around in in here first. I think I'm very near the end of this game. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm fairly certain. So here is where I'll round things out, and there will either be one or two more episodes. If the last one is like, I, I, I hate having like a 30 minute episode, then a 15 minute episode, so I would maybe just do a long one if that's how it fits. But here seems like kind of an interesting turning point where a few things are coming together and we're about to really escalate the situation and, and, and get deep into things. So I think that's a good place to set it down for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back with more Lockhart Indigo very soon.